We're back now at Dixon Ridge Farms, one of the nation's largest growers and processors of organic walnuts. And we're joined by Russ Lester. You are the owner of Dixon Ridge. And Russ, since we're sitting on it, let's get right to it. You've come up with a unique use for this enormous pile of walnut shells. Yeah, we've tried for years to be a sustainable farming operation. And one area where we weren't sustainable is in our energy uh, production and usage. And uh, what we have done is actually using the walnut shells, we gasify the walnut shells and produce heat. You burn them. We, we burn them, but it also produces a combustible gas. So how are you producing the electricity? Well, the electricity is, is produced by taking the walnut shells and we burn about 5 to 10 percent of them and create a high temperature inside of a chamber. The ch what happens to the rest of the 90, 95 percent of the shell is they're immediately produced into a gas that is combustible gas. That gas is then cooled and we take the, the heat that is generated by that cooling and use that for dehydration or warming our buildings as well. Then it's filtered and cleaned and then that gas is run through a regular gas generator to produce electricity. So it's the generator then that produces the electricity, but this is providing the fuel for the generator. That's right. This is providing all the power for the generator. You have some outside help doing this, and this is kind of a, kind of a research and development program that other farms might implement down the road. T tell us about that. Well, the company that actually makes the machine and, and has designed it is called Community Power Corporation, and they actually still own the machine itself. It was a grant from the California Energy Commission that allowed them to build this machine and place it here on our site. We're back now at Dixon Ridge Farms with Russ Lester, and, and Russ, with your walnut organic walnut operation here, absolutely nothing goes to waste, including the final product, which is down here in this bucket called char ash. That's correct. Char ash is about 46% pure elemental carbon. The rest is mostly nitrogen, and then there's a few other elements that are normally naturally found in the walnut shells. It's a good fertilizer. It's a very good fertilizer. And so your plan is to do what? Our plan is to actually uh, shank this into the soil and use it as a supplement for the uh, for the fertility program that we have. But right now with with these uh, shovels, I'm assuming we're just going to try to put some in the uh, That's right. in the ground with the shovels. It's a that... crude manual way, yes. Yeah. And how deep into the ground do you do it? I think we're going to try to aim for about six or eight inches. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be particularly deep. And then what, so what, what will it actually do for the, um, for the growth of walnuts? Well, it actually acts as a fertilizer sink. It'll provide some fertility itself. But actually, the main benefit is the, a good disposal of the char ash, which uh, in, in this particular situ situation, we think that it'll probably sequester the carbon for many, many years. 